could time travel technology already exist? Is there a breakaway society with this and other secret advanced technology? Do certain big budget Hollywood movies hit about the secret government time travel program? Could travelers already be here? Some have said Donald Trump and Greta Thunberg, among others, are actually time travelers. Could John Titter and Andrew Bajiago be telling the truth about their space, time exploration and knowledge? Let's take a look and you decide. Did a time-traveling bird sabotage the collider? Sometime on November 3, the supercooled magnets in Sector 81 of the Large Hadron Collider (LHC) outside Geneva began to dangerously overheat. Scientists rushed to diagnose the problem, since the particle accelerator has to maintain a temperature colder than deep space in order to work. The culprit? A bit of baguette, says Michael Mont of the Control Center of CERN the European Organization for Nuclear Research, which built and maintains the LHC. Apparently, a passing bird may have dropped the chunk of bread on an electrical substation above the accelerator, causing a power cut. The baguette was removed, power to the cryogenic system was restored and within a few days the magnets returned to their supercool temperatures. While most scientists would write off the event as a freak accident, two esteemed physicists have formulated a theory that suggests an alternative explanation, perhaps a time-traveling bird was sent from the future to sabotage the experiment. Beek Nielsen of the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen and Masana Namiya of the Yukawa Institute for Theoretical Physics in Kyoto, Japan, have published several papers over the past year arguing that the CERN experiment may be the latest in a series of physics research projects whose purposes are so unacceptable to the universe that they are doomed to fail, subverted by the future. Man from future arrives at LHC, taken to mental health facility, returns to future. A would-be saboteur arrested today at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland made the bizarre claim that he was from the future. Eloy Cole, a strangely dressed young man, said that he had traveled back in time to prevent the LHC from destroying the world. The LHC successfully collided particles at record force earlier this week, a milestone Mr. Cole was attempting to disrupt by stopping supplies of mountain due to the experiment's vending machines. He also claimed responsibility for the infamous baguette sabotage in November last year. Mr. Cole was seized by Swiss police after CERN security guards spotted him rooting around in bins. He explained that he was looking for fuel for his time machine power unit, a device that resembled a kitchen blender. Police said Mr. Cole, who was wearing a bow tie and rather too much tweed for his age, would not reveal his country of origin. Countries do not exist where I am from. The discovery of the Higgs boson led to limitless power the elimination of poverty and Kit Kats for everyone. It is a communist chocolate hellhole and I'm here to stop it ever happening. This isn't the first time time travel has been blamed for mishaps at the LHC. Last year, the Japanese physicists Masao Ninamiya and Danish string theory pioneer holder Beek Nielsen put forward the hypothesis that the Higgs boson was so abhorrent that it somehow caused a ripple in time that prevented its own discovery. Professor Brian Cox a former CERN physicist and full-time rock and roll TV scientist, was sympathetic to Mr. Cole. Bless him, he sounds harmless enough. At least he didn't mention bloody black holes. Mr. Cole was taken to a secure mental health facility in Geneva but later disappeared from his cell. Police are baffled, but not that bothered. Could these stories be true or just elaborate hoaxes? You be the judge.
and broken remnants vow to undo the errors of our ascendants to make the earth whole the lost and lost at peril of our own birth in the future we've developed a technology to project conscious mind to a host body many years from now humanity's been all but wiped out we've come back to change that huh my name's mclaren my team has been tasked to prevent the beginning of the fall We've just changed history. I never thought that would be a bigger deal. No plan survives contact with the past. Go save the world. calculation that started this whole thing more than any other this is the mission objective that motivated us to come back to the 21st I figured we should celebrate 21st century style 21st century doesn't even know he saved him 21st century doesn't even know he saved him cities all 20 to 1 or better and the bets were so stupid i had to go to three different bookies i wouldn't have even done it if you hadn't in front of me the cash advance you gotta tell me do i still have attorney client privilege yeah sure whatever yep yep i'm from the future okay i get it you can't tell me i'm from the future <laughs> Humanity's been all but wiped out. We've come back to change that. There are thousands of travelers already here taking part. In the future, we've developed a technology that allows a traveler to project his or her conscious mind to a host body. A traveler's consciousness arrives moments before that historical time of death, overriding the original host mind, then resumes his or her life by using their knowledge of historical records and social media. Okay, that's enough bullshit for now. We huh. know the events of tonight because for us, they've already happened. There are thousands of travelers already here taking part. why but if you don't all follow me right now you're going to die you have to leave now Greg 
the fuck are you doing? I run. First I hear the plane. And then the explosion. And I don't remember anything else until I'm outside looking up. was a proof of concept to send a confirmation that I arrived safely in the 21st century and die so no one could trace me but I survived my mission was a proof of concept to send a confirmation that I arrived safely in the 21st century Travelers have been exposed because among the many thousands of travelers, some have taken positions of power. Others seek it even now. At the end of the day, I don't really give a damn if something is true or not true. It's whether or not I can convince people to believe it. It's whether or not I can convince people to believe it. Could Greta Thunberg be a time traveler? There's a new theory involving the young activist with pictures as proof. Many of well-known people have been allegedly seen in old photos. And a recently uncovered photo with the girl who looks remarkably similar to Greta Thunberg has sparked conspiracy theories that she's a time traveler. All right, and this photo was captioned. This antique photo was taken between 1897 and 1899 during the Klondike Gold Rush in Canada's Yukon Territory. The girl on the left has a remarkable likeness to the modern-day Greta Thunberg. Is this evidence of time travel, or does it just prove she has a very common face? Okay, and uh, we're going to check out those pictures, all the pictures I've been able to find online, and it's really just one picture, but one of them is in black and white and one of them seems to be in some sort of sepia tone. Alright, let's check those out. Could Greta Thunberg be a time traveler sent from the future? 
as some have theorized. Let me know what you think about this picture of this girl from over a hundred years ago who looks very similar to Greta Thunberg. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Much love. Could Donald Trump be a time traveler? Could the Trump family have gotten their hands on time travel technology through Nikola Tesla since the rediscovery of the books Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey and The Last President written in the late 1800s along with another book called The Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump along with the Trump family having access to Nikola Tesla's private inventions and technology. Could the Trump family really be time travelers? Is this the reason Donald Trump became the president in 2016? Let's take a deeper look and you decide If time travel does exist, would the Trumps be the perfect candidates to have access to the technology? Could recent declassified documents shed light on this? Some have even speculated that if Donald Trump did have access to a time machine, it was most likely powered by lightning hitting the top of the building he owns in New York City on Fifth Avenue. Is Baron Trump's marvelous underground journey a real book from the 1890s? Two books from the 1890s contain seemingly eerie connections to modern day politics. Author Ingersoll Lockwood wrote the books Baron Trump's marvelous underground journey and 1900 or The Last President in the 1890s. Forget for a moment the seemingly endless series of revelations about the Trump White House staffing woes, the Russia investigation, and the Seth Rich conspiracy. A pressing matter, largely ignored by the mainstream media, has come up. Is Donald Trump a time traveler? The question has been circulating on conspiracy theory websites for several months and is backed by various pieces of evidence such as Donald Trump's Uncle John, Trump's purported relationship with Nikola Tesla. Now a series of books published over a century ago is receiving attention for their seemingly all too eerie connections to the Trump family. The books, one of which is titled Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey, have been discussed on both Reddit and 4chan. Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey in 1900 or The Last President are indeed real books by writer Ingersoll Lockwood. We haven't been able to uncover any evidence proving that Donald Trump and his family have access to a time machine, however. Both of the books are archived by the Library of Congress and can be read in full on archive.org. Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey was published in 1893 and 1900 or The Last President came out a few years later. 
According to the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction, Lockwood penned at least one other book about the Baron Trump character. The Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump and His Wonderful Dog Bulger, which was published in 1890. A July 2017 article in Newsweek noted several prescient seemingly connections, such as the novel's Russian setting, a character named Don, and a Fifth Avenue hotel in New York City where Trump Tower currently stands. There are some incredible connections to be made to the first family of the United States in Lockwood's novels from the turn of the 19th century. For starters, the main character's name is the same as President Donald Trump's son, albeit spelt differently. Trump's adventures begin in Russia and are guided thanks to directions provided by the master of all masters, a man named Don. Before leaving his voyage through the unknown, Trump is told of his family's motto, the pathway to glory is strewn with pitfalls and dangers. By Lockwood's third novel, The Last President, things become even more eerily linked to the present day. The story begins with a scene from a panicked New York City in early November, describing a state of uproar after the election of an enormously opposed outsider candidate. The entire east side is in a state of uproar. Police officers shouted through the streets, warning city folk to stay indoors for the night. Mobs of vast size are organizing under the lead of anarchists and socialists and threaten to plunder and despoil the houses of the rich who have wronged and oppressed them for so many years. The Fifth Avenue Hotel will be the first to feel the fury of the mob the novel continues, citing an address in New York City where Trump Tower now stands. Would the troops be in time to save it? However, some of these connections were slightly exaggerated or outright misstated. For one, the main character is called Baron Trump, not because his name is Baron, but because he is a Baron. In other words, that's his title. The book begins with a biographical notice of Wilhelm Henrik. Sebastian von Trump, commonly called Little Baron Trump. As Doubting Thomas has seemed to take particular pleasure in popping up on all occasions, Jack in the Box like, it may be well to heed them off in this particular instance by proving that Baron Trump was a real Baron and not a mere Baron of the mind. Newsweek similarly mistakes the Don Fum character's honorific for his name calling him a man named Don. In fact, Don is a Spanish honorific meaning mister, and the character, a learned Spaniard, was introduced by, by Lockwood on page two of Baron Trump's marvelous underground journey. It so happened at the time of Bulger's low spirits that the older Baron had, through the kindness of an old school friend, come into possession of a 15th century manuscript. From the pen of a no less celebrated thinker and philosopher, than the learned Spaniard Don Cancentino Bartolomeu Stefalofafum, commonly known among scholars as Don Fum, entitled A World Within a World. Finally, the book mentions the Fifth Avenue Hotel, meaning that it shares a street with Trump Tower. Since Fifth Avenue is a well-known part of New York that has been the site for several high-end restaurants, shops, and hotels since the late 1800s. The Waldorf Astoria was constructed on Fifth Avenue in 1893. This detail seems to be more a reflection of the time it was written, and less a prescient note of where Trump Tower would eventually be constructed. Although these books contain some seemingly bizarre coincidences, they are not evidence that Donald Trump has access to a time machine. Time travel conspiracy theories such as this one pick and choose material that supports their conclusions while ignoring everything else. For instance, these books also contain giant turtles, alternate dimensions, a battle with a big white crane, a dog named Bulger, 
and a little smiling man frozen in time. Since these aspects have no clear connections to the Trumps, they are omitted from the conspiracy theory. While some claim this is proof that these books were written about the Trumps and Donald Trump's son Barron, others, like the person who wrote this article, seem to acknowledge there are some bizarre coincidences, but are hesitant to admit it may be true. What do you think? Could the Trump family have access to time travel technology? Could it have caused Donald Trump to sway the election and become president? Or does it take more than these bizarre coincidences to convince you? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. John Titter, the man from the year 2036. He claimed he was here on his way back to the 70s to, to retrieve an IBM 5100 computer above, which he said was needed to debug various legacy computer programs in 2036. A reference to the Unix year 2036 problem. The 5100 runs the Apple and basic programming languages. He claimed he had been selected for this mission specifically, given that his paternal grandfather was directly involved with the assembly and programming of the 5100. John Titter is a name he also used on several bulletin boards during 2000 and 2001. In his online postings, Titter claimed to be an American soldier from 2036, based in Tampa and Hillsborough County, Florida who was assigned to a governmental time travel project. During his communications he revealed details of his time machine. Tipter provided a number of technical specs regarding how time travel worked. Lazar claims our government captured alien spaceships, UFOs, and keeps them in a secret warehouse. And that's not all. Bob says Uncle Sam hired him to figure out how they fly. If you're skeptical, you have plenty of company. Lazar has been questioned and criticized. He even had to take a lie detector test, and that's when some people started believing him. They have in their possession uh, alien spacecraft, and they are actively uh, undergoing analysis. And flying them? And flying them. The effects that can cause the way in which everything operates is, is by all intents and purposes, magic. I mean, it is so far beyond uh, our level of technology.
So I was told near 2020, we will have a greater window for disclosure of temporal operations. Andy Basiago, who was assigned disclosure of temporal operations for this period. In the movie Looper, Bruce Willis is hunted down by a younger version of himself. Time travel has not yet been invented, but 30 years from now, it will have been. Time travel, Hollywood science fiction? Or is it? I have physically traveled in time. Andrew Bashago is not acting. We have. We did over 40 years ago. This was the Vancouver, Washington attorney is on a mission to reveal what he calls a 40-year government cover-up of Project Pegasus. Piece of them anyway. Where he says he was teleported back and sideways in time dozens of times. I have the whole story. I have hundreds of facts. I can tell you what personnel were at what locations where which time travel device was being used. And his time travel wasn't recent. It was when he was a kid. I entered the program officially in the fall of 1969 as a third grader, age seven. One of 140 kids, 60 adults, chrononauts as he calls them, including his dad, who joined him on his first jump. My dad held my hand and we jumped through the field of energy and we seemed to be moving very rapidly. But there was also a paradox. We seemed to be going nowhere at all. Hold on tight, son. The TV show Fringe aired a similar scene two years ago. Coincidence? Did it? There's paradoxes, unscientific claims, unbelievable stories and encounters on Earth and Mars. Meeting Barack Obama when the president was a teenager with a different name. Time traveling six times to the Ford Theater on the day President Lincoln was shot but he didn't see it happen. And we're not done with Lincoln. In fact, during one probe, the one to Gettys the Gettysburg Address, I was dressed as a Union bugle boy. That's right, he was at the Gettysburg Address. He says this famous picture taken that day proves it. He says this bugle boy is him. It's the only visual evidence he provides for any of his travels. That's it. I was physically at Gettysburg. And what about that teleportation? He says Star Trek got it wrong. So Andy, I just got here via Star Trek teleportation, but that's not how you did it. No, in fact, if you had just arrived via quantum teleportation, the Star Trek method of teleportation, you would have collapsed as, uh, as a dead person. Bashago weaves his tale with such conviction, I thought he's either a psychopathic liar, lunatic, or the fastest thinking science fiction writer on Earth. A tunnel was opening up in time space, just like you'd have a cavity inside a soap bubble b being blown by a child. And, and when that bubble closed, we had been repositioned elsewhere in time space on the, uh, on the face of the Earth. Some would say Bashago is still living in a bubble, but he's put his professional reputation at risk claiming time travel isn't science fiction. He did it. However, many people have been through the program, but without preparation or the knowledge of how to handle yourself mentally, the mind fractures. And that is another reason that children were used in the early projects that first explored how consciousness can be transferred in these systems that induce a temporal dislocation. You can view the past and we're from the future. Humanity jumped back to experience the ancient past. This relates to free will and awakening the soul because you can ask what makes you think that this world is real. Only when the soul is awakened is it real. And so you could also say we're in a kind of parallel right now that is secondary to the original base timeline where humanity has been eternally. And so this is like an organic simulation that is being threatened by an artificial intelligence where it is in a way an ancestor or a civilization simulation where we came 
to remember who we are. And again, because in eternity, we would likely come up with ways to create interesting experiences. And in a way, this is one of those that kind of went awry. And it's because of secret groups who figured this out and chose to keep everyone asleep. There's no blame. It is decided that a parasite is in, uh, responsible for all of this, but we must be accountable for our own actions. And in a way, the ego and the false uh, reptilian brain or the false persona is the artificial intelligence that controls the illusion in our mind. Classified information, Groom Lake test site, Area 51. Sorry about that ad. Welcome on board and congratulations. When you see this video, you've made the selection. You are one of the first 25 passengers who will travel to the future. The journey will take eight hours and you'll arrive on the 21st of September in the year 2145. For security and confidentiality reasons, you have not received instructions before now. Please allow us to inform you about everything you should know about time traveling. The easiest way to explain what time travel is, is to compare it with traveling in distance. Most people experience traveling in distance as follows. You are traveling when you move from point A to point B. When you stop, you are not traveling. This is a major misconception. People cannot stand still. We are always traveling. Even if you don't move between point A and point B, you are moving at the speed of close to 1,000 miles per hour because our planet Earth rotates on its axis. And even if Earth didn't spin, we would still orbit around a star called the Sun at the speed of 67,000 miles per hour. People are not only continuously traveling in space, but also in time, at the speed of one second per second. But you are going to be one of the first humans who travel faster in time, what most people consider time traveling. Traveling to the past is impossible for people, but it is possible to send signals to the past. We'll explain that later. History of time travel experiments. In the late 1930s, one of the first radio telescopes received an unusual signal from space. After a couple of years, a team of scientists discovered that it was a message from the future. The message contained instructions to build a time machine. Under the command of President Roosevelt, scientists who worked for the United States Air Force started to develop the first time machine. It was finished in April 1947. The first test, on July 8, 1947, caused an explosion. The time machine exploded in the neighborhood of Roswell, New Mexico. Nobody got hurt. We presented it as a failed weather balloon experiment, but many people believed that it was a crash flying saucer. Mm -hmm. In 1954, the first plant was sent to the future, Finger Plant Chuck. This was a successful experiment. In 1975, the first dog was sent to the future. The dog was called Albert Leica. Albert Leica arrived alive, but died in seconds. What went wrong? The scientists expected that the dog would disappear in 1975 and move to the future to an empty room. They made one big mistake. The empty room was not empty. An empty room contains air, and air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, several other gases, and water vapor. So, the air would end up in the entire body of the dog, including the veins. The air bubbles in the arteries caused arterial air embolism, which immediately caused a heart attack. In 1975, they did another experiment with the dog Albert Leica II. The arrival gate in the future was entirely vacuum sucked, and the first dog who traveled to the future brought his own air. The experiment passed. The dog was alive and healthy. In the meantime, we've sent several mammals to the future, and every experiment since 1975 was successful. So your journey will be very safe. Time travel techniques. There are several ways to travel in time. Some are very difficult, but not impossible in the future. Like reaching the speed of light. Using Einstein-Rosen bridges, also known as wormholes. Flying near a black hole. And flying nearby huge planets. 
Luckily, as I mentioned earlier, we've received information from the future to build a time machine. This device works with cabin-based time dilation technology. It's too hard to explain how it works, but in the future you'll receive a four-year training to understand it. The biggest challenge that the inventors of the cabin had to overcome was distance. Imagine that this is you, traveling two weeks into the future. Now you are time traveling. You are moving faster in time, but the planet is orbiting around the sun. So you would arrive in the right time, but not in the right place. Messages from the future. As mentioned before, we know how to build a time machine because we receive messages from the future. You may have wondered earlier, why didn't they warn us that the first time machine would explode? Why wouldn't they warn us that the first dog would die? It's because it would end up in another reality, another timeline. Imagine that we send a flower to the future with our time machine. The people in the future can send us a signal to confirm that they received the flower. What they can't do is send their message to the time before we've sent the flower, because the future that received the flower is not made in the time before the flower was sent. The message would end up in a different timeline. Because of this phenomenon, the grandfather paradox doesn't exist. You may know the grandfather paradox from science fiction stories like Ancestral Voices by Nat Schnackner, published in 1933. In those stories, a person travels to the past and kills their own grandfather before the conception of their father or mother, which prevents the time traveler's existence. If traveling back in time was possible, you would not disappear if you would kill your grandfather, because the future you are residing in was already made, including you. You would just not be born on a different timeline. Do you remember when the newspapers mentioned that the Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope received a strong narrowband radio signal on August 15, 1977? They called it the WOW signal. A lot of people thought it was extraterrestrial. It was not. It was just another message from the future. What does your arrival look like? First, you'll be observed by a doctor. After that, a huge team of people will welcome you. The entire world is watching to see your arrival. Things you should know. There is less greenery in the future. Don't complain about it, because the people from the future are not responsible for it. They blame the past, your time. Don't feel offended when people swear in front of you. Some of the words are regular language, and people have no bad intentions. People look younger in the future. A woman who looks like a young woman could actually be 80 years old. Genetic design is common in the future. Don't get scared when you see people with purple eyes or extremely big eyes. Besides, you'll scare people as well with your looks. A lot of historians will approach you as soon as you arrive. It's also likely that temposexuals will approach you. Temposexuals are people who are sexually attracted to people from a different time. According to the book DSM-61, their attraction is a projection of a hidden desire to travel to another time. Don't be afraid. Fear is very common as you will be in a totally different time. Everything is new, but you are safe and don't have to worry. Now we give the floor to Lieutenant General Dr. W.P. Petrolsky, who answers some expected questions. Question. Will I become a time travel tourist? No. A tourist goes back home after visiting a different place, or in our case, a different time. You will become a permanent resident. Question. Will my bank account still be active? No. But you don't have to worry about money. We arrange everything. Question. What will I hear and see during time travel? As soon as we start our engines, you will see nothing special. However, our experiments have taught us what time travel sounds like. It may sound strange or almost eerie to your ears. However, some folks love the sound of time travel, comparing it to the song of the heavenly choir or their favorite music. Other people think of that weird doctor who noise. In reality, sounds like this. Question. What happened to the people who didn't make the cut? This part is ingenious. We'll put them on candid camera and convince them it was all an elaborate prank. What will happen to my family or friends? Don't worry about that. We'll take care of them. Question. When will I meet the other 24 time travelers? You will meet them shortly after you arrive. Well, the instructions end here. If you want to read more about your journey, read the book that is under your seat. Enjoy your day.
journey.